Elevator problems are a good example of Newton's second law. Here we have an elevator with a bathroom scale on it. We have a student. Now this student has a weight on earth of 500 newtons, meaning that the student has a mass of 50 kilograms, since we're using little g to be 10 meters per second squared. The student hasn't even gotten on the elevator yet, but the ground or the floor is pushing up with a normal force. Now the normal force is equal to 500, but let's prove that. F net equals MA. Let's say our frame is up is positive. Um, we always get our net force from the diagram, so doing that we have N going up with our frame minus 500 equals the student's mass of 50 times the student's acceleration, zero in this case. So sure, the normal force of the student is 500 newtons before getting on the elevator. Once the student gets on the elevator, we have a very similar force diagram. We still have the student weighing 500 newtons. In fact, if the student's anywhere on Earth, that's going to be the case. But instead of the normal force pushing up, this time we have the scale. So it's really like a normal force, but it's the force of the scale. And it has the added advantage of, of telling us what the force is. So the net force on the student is once again equal to MA, but this time A will be the acceleration of the elevator. So the net force is the force of the scale minus 500. It equals to the mass of 50 times the acceleration of the elevator. So in our first example, where the acceleration is going to be 2 meters per second squared up, which is, that's the, the motion of the elevator, but because the student and the scale are in the elevator, they will have the same motion. So when we add an acceleration of plus 2 for the student, we have the force of the scale reading 500 plus 100 or 600 newtons. This makes sense. Look at the diagram. We have 600 going up, only 500 going down. Of course, we have a net force accelerating the student upward. Case two, the student is going down with an acceleration of two meters per second squared. That's against our frame. We put it in as a negative two. And look what happens. The force of the scale is only going to read 400. So the 500 pushing down is more than the 400 pushing up. It gets a little tricky when we consider case three. Now the person's motion is still going down. The elevator is going down, but its velocity, the magnitude of its velocity is decreasing. It's slowing down in the negative direction. So negative because it's against our frame, second negative because it's slowing down. Double negative means a positive. So once again, the student is going to feel as though he weighs 600 newtons. And what would happen if the elevator was going at a constant velocity? Well, that would just mean an acceleration of zero or a force